visit eaglerunnerbill.com. Hey, it's Eagle Runner Bill here. This morning I'm going to show you how I test a round dual capacitor. I have my multimeter here. Right now I'm in the ohms position. I have one meter lead in the common and the other meter lead plugged in the ohm reading. And here's my dual round capacitor. As you can see, it's rated at 35 and 6 micro ferrets. And now I'm going to show you how I go about testing it. On the top, you have three contacts, and it's labeled. That C stands for common, and the other one's labeled fan, and your compressor is labeled hern. Don't mistake the C for compressor. The C stands for common. Okay, now I'm going to short everything out. Remember, these things store voltage. And if it's loaded, it could shock you if you touch both the contacts. You have everything shorted. It's all safe. I'm in the ohms position. Now I'll take my black lead and put it on the common or the C contact. And the other lead, I'll put on one of the others. Make sure your meter is in the mega ohm range or you're liable not to see it move. So you can see when you put first connect the meter, you'll see it climb up and go to open. And it did fine on both. So remember, once you do it once, you might load that capacitor and now it won't do it again. So before you test it, you have to short it out. Make sure you use a, a screwdriver with good insulation so you don't shock yourself. Okay, now we short it out. We'll do test it again. You see it move, climb up and go right to open. And we'll test the other side. And you'll see it climb up and go to open. That's one check to do on a capacitor with an ohm meter. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to check to make sure it isn't shorted inside. And you just take one meter lead, put it on a contact. The other meter lead you put on the case. Make sure your contacts aren't shorted to the case. And each one should read completely open to be a good capacitor. And that all checks good. Now if your multimeter has microfarad on it you could check out the microfarads and as we told you this thing says 35 plus 6 that means my compressor has got 35 or the hern has got 35 microfarads and the fan has 6 and it was a plus or minus 5% so black lead on the common red lead on the contact and you can see it's taken it a while to get a reading it's all blinking and then once we get our reading you can see it there it's 35 1 so that was good and we'll go to the other side and we're reading 6.1 so that's well within our plus or minus 5 percent tolerance and that all checks good we should have a good capacitor there Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.